Prime Minister, you talked about the issue of corruption or the perception of corruption and looking at the PNM manifesto prior to the general election, there were, there were the statements related to integrity, selflessness of members of parliament, objectivity, accountability, honesty, openness and so on. We can't get away from the issue involving the housing minister, Marlene MacDonald. Uh, you, you talked about people flagellating within the absence of information, but information has been provided in the public domain related to the Calabar Foundation, even previously in relation to the to the award the influence to award a home to someone who is uh, uh, deemed to be close to to the minister have you been to, to cut a long story short have you been blocking for the for, for the minister and the answer is no because you see one has to get to the specifics of the allegation what exactly is the allegation when i first heard about this as prime minister it was that the minister had an hdc house and that was a no-no as a former Minister of Housing, that, I mean, the Minister had an HGC house, which she owned. Then I heard she had four houses. Then I heard that she had given somebody a house while being Minister of Housing. And that she had, I mean, a whole series of allegations of moving target. At the end of the day, none of those things turn out to be true. But of course, they have excited the public interest because as the allegations are made, the public gets involved in knowing these things and objecting to them if they were true. Then it boils right down to the fact, what exactly is the allegation? And as far as I'm aware, the last allegation which is surviving is this Calabar thing. Yes. But I do know that that was an issue even before we came into election. At screening time in the PNM, certain persons had made that a cause celebre. I also knew that that matter went to the Integrity Commission. I also knew that the Integrity Commission looked at whatever information they had and they made a decision which did not support the allegations. If the Calabar issue is now before the Integrity Commission again, right, then what are you asking me as Prime Minister to do? On the basis of the same kind of information to make a decision while the Integrity Commission would have seen more than I have seen. Because remember, the Integrity Commission is the body corporate, the body under the Constitution, to examine the conduct of persons, like in this case where allegations, allegations are being made about the conduct of persons. Because, you know, s something might appear one way to you, and it, when you examine it, it is not as it appears. And recently, I take for example, the, the, the Minister of Planning and Development. Yes. She did some private transaction involving cash. And of course, it excited the population as to what is this. And the question was, the, when you got down to the allegation, the allegation was the minister had cash that she couldn't explain. And of course, that was a serious matter. Yes. Very serious matter. However, on proper examination, turns out it was a private transaction where the minister had moved her private funds from one place to another. But was it inappropriate of you, Prime Minister, uh, to, to comment on that and, and maybe raise issues about trust in relation to first citizens? You, you, you talk, oh, you're wait, having a wait, credit wait, card wait, and all that sort of wait, thing. Wait, wait, wait. Is it appropriate of me to answer questions put to me by the media? Yeah. Inappropriate? But it's, it's, the how, it's how the you media, respond. The media, ah. It's how you respond. You see, you, do, you deal with sound bites. I deal with the whole conversation. Sure. I, there were five questions put to me on this matter. And any one of them, I could have said anything that would have been damaging to them. I was asked four questions, and I, on all of them, I was very measured in my response. The last question was, are you comfortable with the situation? Yeah. And I said no. Right? And I went on to point out that an, at an earlier time, there was a similar situation. Because one of the five questions they asked yes. me, one of which was my own situation. Yeah. Do you have an account in the bank? I said yes. Are you going to move it? No, I said no. I mean... Um, because I could say, yes, I'm moving my account. If I was doing what I'm accused of being doing, I wouldn't maintain an account in the bank. And then I went on to point out that at an earlier time, I did move my account when I did have a problem with certain things in the bank. And I said I would move my account and I will return when certain things have changed. And I have done so. None of that made the news. None of that made the, con the, 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 the condemnations. But that was the conversation. Yes. What was the conversation? The Prime Minister said he has no confidence in FCB. Right? What I said in response to a question, because when the media puts a question to me, are you comfortable? And I said, no. But who could be comfortable with a situation like that? So PM, you in this thing for over 30 years now. Surely you are aware that, yes, it is a soundbite sort of culture with the media. And therefore, anything that you say that appears to well, be let adverse me, well, in well, relation well, to well, citizens. Me, well, let me ask you a question. Sure. Are you comfortable about information of a private transaction in the bank being made 
do it to the public. Once said legal, I really don't care, PM. Well, <laughs> that, we, think, we, we think different. We, I probably, really, but but, but it, it wasn't a comfortable situation. At the end of the day, it was clarified, and all parties have, as far as I'm aware or I know, all parties can explain their conduct. And I think all's well that ends well. But in the meantime, when it was being assumed that there was a minister who was handling cash that she couldn't explain, that was a matter which attracted the Prime Minister's attention. Do you think that the, 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 the nation will accept that you and together with the Attorney General have pronounced on the on the? No, no, we have, not we have not pronounced. We have addressed the facts of the situation. That's what we've done. In relation to the other matter involving uh, the, the, the housing minister, um, isn't it a simple, you, you are the, 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 the Prime Minister, you are the one who, who, are, who are higher and fire as far as the Cabinet is concerned. But, there, has, but, the but, 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 there, ha but there has to be a basis for hiring and firing. I can't just get up willy-nilly and hire somebody. And I can't just get up willy and fire somebody. That's what I'm saying. We, consign, we confine ourselves to the facts. And of course, the interpretations of certain facts or certain allegations might be different. But facts are facts, Prime Minister. Yeah, but I'm saying, so when you have the facts, then you are in a position to take a certain position. Some people might take a position based on other kinds of information. But from where I sit, if the facts were as they were held out to be, then there might have been a completely different decision.